So the first place we're going to is L'Occitane. If you think it sounds familiar and it sounds like a place where you have lotion from, it is. But they also have a cafe right upstairs. This cafe has a great view of the famous Shibuya Crossing and it was honestly just really fun watching people and I even saw Mario Kart. I got the shrimp pasta salad. It came in a really big portion, but honestly, there wasn't a lot of shrimp. But despite all that, it was still really good. It had a lot of greens. This is probably the most amount of vegetables I've eaten since I've been in Japan, which really says something about my diet. I got the creme brulee for dessert. It didn't really have that hard, cracky exterior though, but it was still pretty good. I really want to do some shopping, so we headed over to Shibuya 109. Japan honestly has such a unique fashion. Everywhere I looked, it was just so unique. I thought the strawberry set was so cute. I honestly tried it on as a joke, but I ended up really liking it. But she was $180 and I could not afford her. In the change room, they also provided these cute high heels, which you can see I'm not used to because I almost tripped and sprained my ankles. I love the sunnies. I actually purchased these. And I tried on a bunch of clothes just because the salesperson really wanted me to. I really like this shirt actually, but... It was $60 and I wasn't really prepared for that. I also really loved the skirt, but again, it was just a little bit over my budget. We hit up a couple other stores and as you can see here, I have a huge denim obsession right now. I love the skirt the most. I almost got her. I'm still thinking about her, so let me know in the comments what you think. She was kind of cute. And if you're wondering how they keep their stuff clean and makeup free, they literally give you a baggie to go over your head. On the very bottom floor, this is where all the food is. Strawberry fetish, I've heard so many good things about them so I really wanted to try it. It's basically candy strawberries. It was pretty good, but I will say that it's really dependent on the strawberries and how fresh and juicy and how big they are. I got the strawberry and grape though, and the grape was just um, a little too big. As you can see, I was struggling, and as we go further down, um, she struggles some more. I heard Magnet was also a really good place to shop, so we just headed over there. Here, there's a lot of cool pop-up stores and artwork, but honestly, I was kind of tired and there wasn't anything that really piqued my interest to try on. I cut our time kind of short there and headed over to Obe. It's a conveyor belt sushi place. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I couldn't figure out the system. Um, that's just me being a broomer because technology is hard. I got the hamburger steak, seafood salad, tuna and mayo, and corn sushi rolls, and corn nigiris. I freaking loved it. It was 
so delicious. Everything just tastes so fresh. Japan does umami unlike any other country. Like they just love their umami and I love them for it. Like literally everything was good, especially the corn. That really surprised me. I didn't expect corn to taste so good, but in Japan, corn just does taste so good. I did a second round and I ordered an udon bowl because I wanted something warm. And then I got this croquet. It's like cheese and tuna. Um, you can see here, I'm not really vibing with it, but we ate her anyways. And that basically concludes the vlog. A lot of eating, a lot of shopping. Um, I will also be hitting up Harujuku. So if you guys want to stay tuned for those, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.